everyone, this is Donald Frechet with DB Services, and today we are going to be talking about FileMaker WebDirect and custom web applications, as well as just a few reasons you might want to implement both, as well as potential reasons why you might want to go for one over the other. <coughs> uh, so in front of us, we just have a simple time tracking application uh, created in our FileMaker application on uh, in a WebDirect window. <coughs> Uh, the main draw for actually working with WebDirect is its ease of use and the need to not go through complex setup processes to get everything running. For setting up WebDirect, you just need to ensure it's enabled on your FileMaker server as well as the privilege set for your users that will be using it has the WebDirect uh, permission checked off. <coughs> uh, the big thing with WebDirect is that any changes um, to your FileMaker layout are going to be made to WebDirect in real time. It is all based off of the main FileMaker Pro application. Uh, just as a quick example, uh, here is our actual FileMaker Pro application. I'm going to go quickly just add something in here. add in this little text object, save our layout change, and <clears throat> there it is. This allows us to just quickly implement any new information we need on the layout in real time. Um, now, getting into a potential issue with WebDirect is the limitation we have that is we can only work with native FileMaker objects as well as some of these having compatibility issues in certain browsers. Interactive content like PDF viewers, um, some functions are unsupported, and then dialogues and script triggers can cause some unexpected results. Um, <clears throat> aside from that though, for simple applications like this one right here, WebDirect is a great solution. Um, no real triggers, just input your time, input a time log here, And there we go. Uh, on the other hand, when we get into custom web applications, uh, there is a bit of overhead in getting these running. Uh, it is not just as simple as pulling the layout from FileMaker Pro. Uh, this all just does have to be coded from the ground up. But what that does give us is a lot more freedom in terms of our final product. Um, <clears throat> You'll see uh, the main draw, I think, with custom web development over WebDirect is the pure flexibility in UI. Um, you'll see here now we have a mobile view. Um, can still access our navigation tools, have access to essentially popovers, <clears throat> and all of the same functionality is present, but in a much more <clears throat> dynamic method. Um, meanwhile, with WebDirect, you're not going to be able to check. Um, do we need a mobile view? Do we need this? Uh, <clears throat> do we need this full view? Um, now, getting into a potential... Um, <clears throat> getting into a bit more <clears throat> detail here. Um, a web application tends to be a little more performant than a web direct solution uh, just due to we only need to pull the data that we need um, instead of loading up the whole file in one go. This time tracking page here is pulled on the load of the page. If we were to have a separate page just for the user, we'd just quickly query the user information and display that. Uh, in terms of just true disadvantages, um, essentially cost setup and t the time to set up. With a full web application, you would generally need a second, a full server for it to not hog resources off of your FileMaker server, as well as you would need development resources for building your file. <clears throat> but the benefits, I think, out 
outweigh the drawbacks for larger app scale applications like say a full web shop or a customer portal where customers can manage orders or any other information that you'd want them to be able to access client side. And with that, this is kind of a quick overview of how both of these work, kind of what goes into the setup, as well as a few general pros and cons to each. Uh, if you have any questions regarding web applications or implementation of WebDirect, feel free to reach out to us at DB Services and we'd be glad to help. Thank you.